computer. Computer. Activate the Albert O1. Computer. What is that light in the sky? It's a supernova. The star ZX1. Computer. When did it happen? The star is at a distance of 10 light years. Hence, let's see. 10 years ago. A light here is the distance at which light can travel in a year. So that light requires 10 years to travel 10 light years. You have studied this at school, isn't it? But why do we see only now the star explode? No signal can travel faster than light. Accordingly, since the light emitted after the explosion arrives here just now, there was no way of knowing this before. Okay, but... Why nothing can travel faster than light? If you could travel faster than light, you could travel backwards in time. So, to be able to meet yourself in the past. Don't you see that this would be a great absurdity? Certainly an absurdity, but I cannot say I have understood. Not at all. There is a number of forecasts that one can make using a little bit of mathematics. One can do an experiment and check that what I said is true. No one can travel so fast. But you can accelerate a small object at fantastic speeds. This is currently done in particle accelerators in which particles are accelerated at speeds very near to the light speed. And what do you see? There are particles which decay after a characteristic time. Imagine you consider a particle which decays after a second of life. So what? Then a particle at rest decays after a second, while in an accelerator, where time flows at a slower pace, its life is much longer. The more its speed approach the speed of light. As long as its velocity grows, the object becomes ever and ever, and it is more and more difficult to push it. For this reason, you cannot make it reach the speed of light. In the case, it would have an infinite weight and nobody has energy enough to push it further. And uh, if you push it even further? You can't. But does it realize that it has gained weight? No. For him, you have become fatter as you are moving while he is at rest. Exactly! But if all you said is true, then this theory could better describe the world, much better than what we learn at school. Certainly, but what you learn at school is almost correct whenever speeds are not comparable with the speed of light. And in any case, also this theory is wrong. When gravity enters the game, such a theory is no longer sufficient. Oh, how does it work then? Tell us immediately. I will need 10 more years 
of investigation. But this is nothing if compared to the 400 years passed after an ancestor of mine began this old story. Call Liza! Call Liza! Call Liza! 